These are the most common mistakes beginners make when building their new computer. The first mistake beginners make is failure to plan. There's three things you must do before you start building. First, what type of PC are you gonna build? Is it for streaming, gaming, productivity, 4K editing, or maybe all of the above? Second, you need a budget. How much are you gonna spend? $800, $1,000, $2,000? $1,000,000. And after you set your budget, the third thing you must do is create a parts list. Sit down and write a detailed list of every part you're gonna need for your computer. Motherboard, CPU, GPU, RAM, hard drives, etc., etc. Do these three things first before you step into a store or shop online. It'll save you time and money. The second mistake that beginners make when building a computer is buying incompatible parts. When you decide to build your computer, you have a decision to make, Intel, or AMD, and it can't be both. The motherboard that you pick will decide the CPU that you buy, or vice versa. If it's an AMD motherboard, it has to be an AMD chip. Also, the motherboard socket type must match the CPU socket type. If you try to install a CPU with a different socket type than the motherboard, the results will be catastrophic, resulting with the CPU having bent pins and possibly a dead motherboard. Always check the motherboard specs for a list of compatible CPUs. And also check the motherboard RAM type. Is it DDR3, DDR4, DDR5? And these RAM sticks are not backwards compatible. So make sure you buy the correct RAM sticks. Once again, it's gonna save you time and money. All right, the third most common mistake beginners make when building a PC is installing the motherboard into the PC case before setting it up. Here's what I mean. Always set up your motherboard before installing it into the PC case. Setup includes CPU installation, RAM installation, and NVMe installation. It's much more difficult to install these components into the motherboard when it's in the case. Just trying to make things easier. All right, the fourth most common mistake is not buying a GPU for your PC. It can be tempting to use your CPU's integrated graphics card for 4K video or for basic gaming. However, for graphic intensive gaming like Fortnite or 4K video editing like this one, and even crypto mining, you need a dedicated GPU and you don't have to break the bank to get one. GPU prices have fallen over the last six months and will continue for the rest of this year. Buy a mid-range GPU like the RTX 2080 and you're good to go. The fifth mistake is not utilizing your motherboard's M.2 slot. When deciding on what hard drive to install into your PC, you want the fastest boot times for your OS as well as read and write times. And using the M.2 slot is always the best option. Purchase an NVMe SSD and slap it into the M.2 slot gently. And then install your OS on it, like Windows or Linux. And I also recommend installing programs and games as well. Boot times and read and write times are much better with NVMe SSDs compared to the traditional hard drive. The only downside to NVMe SSDs is the price. They are a bit more expensive, but in my opinion, they're worth it. All right, the sixth computer building mistake is incorrectly installing your RAM sticks. Installing all four RAM sticks into your motherboard is pretty easy, but it can be confusing when installing one RAM stick or two RAM sticks. It may be tempting to slap two RAM sticks into your motherboard side by side and just call it a day, but that's not how this works. When installing two RAM sticks, they need to be staggered and in dual mode. Make sure to check your motherboard manual for positioning. It will either be A1 and B1 or A2 and B2. And when installing one RAM stick, it will be A1 or A2. Always check your motherboard manual for the correct setup. Just don't guess. Okay, the seventh PC building mistake is buying the wrong size PC case for your components. It can be tempting to buy that sleek and flashy PC case that will wow your friends and family. But will that case hold all your components? mainly your GPU. EATX PC cases, also known as full-size towers, will hold all your PC components easily. But ATX cases, also known as mid-size towers, can be a bit finicky, especially when it comes to the massive GPUs of the RTX 30 series and 40 series. Check the measurements to make sure that your RTX 3080 or RTX 4090 will fit. And when it comes to smaller cases like the micro ATX case and the mini ITX cases, those large GPUs with the three fans are not gonna fit. These cases require smaller components, like smaller motherboards, and low-profile GPUs. The eighth most common PC building mistake is installing your radiator for your CPU cooler incorrectly. Remember the golden rule. Always mount your radiator so the top is always above the highest point of the pump. And the best placement for your radiator is at the top of your PC case. And that's because it's always above the highest point of the pump. 
and the radiator fan direction can be either push or pull. I've tried both ways and temperatures were nearly identical. Installing the radiator at the front of the PC case is the second best option, but make sure those radiator tubes are above the highest point of the pump. The ninth most common PC building mistake is not wiring your PC case wires correctly to the motherboard. So after building your high-end gaming PC, you go to turn it on and nothing happens. And all your power supply cables are correctly installed, so what's the problem? You didn't install the PC case wires in the correct positions, <laughs> like the LED, reset, and power wires. Check the PC case and the motherboard manuals for the correct position, and also make sure to connect the audio in the USB 3.0 and other connections as well. Now your PC will turn on. All right, the 10th and last PC building mistake is buying the incorrect power supply for your PC. After buying and installing all your parts in your beautiful PC case, you go to turn it on and nothing happens. Or maybe the GPU doesn't turn on. This is a result of buying a power supply with not enough power. Don't try to save money by buying a low-end power supply for a high-end PC. Before buying your power supply, check all your components for minimum power requirements. And then add all those numbers up. And make sure your power supply is well above the minimum power consumption. And keep in mind that overclocking your PC takes more power. And high-end GPUs suck up a lot of watts. And with that guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.